The Geranium by Richard Brinsley Sheridan In the close covert of a grove, by nature formed for scenes of love, said Susan in a lucky hour, Observe, young sweet geranium flower, how straight upon its stalk it stands and tempts our violating hands, whilst the soft bud, as yet unspread, hangs down its pale declining head. Yet soon, as it is ripe to blow, the stems shall rise, the head shall glow. Nature, said I, my lovely Sue, to all her followers lends adieu. Her simple laws themselves explain as links of one continued chain. For her, the mysteries of creation are but the works of generation. Yon blushing, strong, triumphant flower is in the crisis of its power. But short, alas, its vigorous reign, he sheds his seed and drops again. The bud that hangs in pale decay feels not as yet the plastic ray. Tomorrow's sun shall make him rise, then too he sheds his seed and dies. But words, my love, are vain and weak. For proof, let bright example speak. Then straight before the wandering maid, the tree of life I gently laid. Observe, sweet Sue, his drooping head, how pale, how languid, and how dead. Yet let the sun of thy bright eyes shine but a moment, it shall rise. Let but the dew of thy soft hand refresh the stem, it straight shall stand. Already see it swells, it grows, its head is redder than the rose. Its shriveled fruit of dusky hue now glows, a present fit for Sue. The balm of life each artery fills, and in her flowing drops distills. Oh, me! cried Susan. When is this? What strange tumultuous throbs of bliss! Sure, never mortal till this hour felt such emotion at a flower. O oh, serpent, cunning to deceive! Sure, tis this tree that tempted Eve. The crimson apples hang so fair. Alas, what woman could forbear? Well hast thou guessed, my love, I cried. It is the tree by which she died, the tree which could content her. All nature, Susan, seeks the centre. Yet let us still, poor Eve, forgive. It's the tree by which we live. For lovely women still it grows, and in the centre only blows. But chief for thee it spreads its charms, for paradise is in thy arms. I ceased. For nature, kindly here, began to whisper in her ear, and lovely Sue lay softly panting while the geranium tree was planting. Till in the heat of amorous strife she burst the mellow tree of life. Oh, heaven! cried Susan with a sigh. The hour we taste we surely die. Strange raptures seize my fainting frame, and all my body glows with flame. Yet let me snatch one parting kiss to tell my love I die with bliss. That pleased thy Susan yields her breath. Oh, who would live if this be death?